All right, so we have our next lab, lab 7.11, which is Kirchhoff's Gambit. Uh, very simple instructions, cut out the puzzle and arrange it so it satisfies the rules of the circuit. So I'm going to give you guys just a couple hints uh, going into this. So in the AP Physics 1 uh, class folder, uh, there is um, a link right here. Otherwise, you can, of course, go into the classwork tab, and there is a link right here. And, and all you got to do is open this up and print it off. Now, what you can see here is some really basic information um, with resistors. And the more complex thing is, of course, going to be these, uh, these nice little branches here. But this circuit, there's 15 pieces, right? The sun is not actually a piece, but there is a logical place to put it um, when, your, uh, when your puzzle is completed. So here we have the power source. And coming off the power source is going to be obviously circ is going to be obviously the resistors, the branches, whatever. So you need to arrange this puzzle, and yes, it'll fit into a nice four by four. The problem is is that it's missing some information. Fortunately, we have the ability to solve for that information using, of course, Ohm's law. So let me pull up my calculator just to give you a quick little example here. So uh, right here, this is an example of a branch, okay? And in this case, I have 0.782 and 1.24 amps, and these two are, well, they're they're coming together. So if I use my calculator and point 0.782 plus 1.24, that means that this branch right here is, oh my God, 2.02 .02 amps. So feel free to write on these cards. Uh, don't don't go over the lines because you're cutting it out. But feel free to write on these cards so that you have the additional information. Here's another example right here. We have 2.02 .02 amps and 0.52 amps. Well, how does that work? So we got to think that, well, this is 2.02 .02 .02 and it splits off into 0.5, which means that if I take my 2.02 .02 .02 minus my 0.52 amps, that's going to be whatever this current is. So you can use Kirchhoff's junction law to satisfy all of these right here as I'm making this beautiful mess. And then uh, for the rest of these uh, right here, um, you can use Ohm's law to figure out whatever the missing thing is. So we want, there's current, there's resistance, and then there's the voltage drop. And I know that V equals IR. Oh, my God, I'm writing so nice with this thing. All right, V equals IR. So I can use, in this case, I'm missing V. So I'll use 0.782 times 20 ohms. So I got 0.782 times 20 ohms. I get 15, oh, my God, point six four volts anyway you guys are going to do this but then here find the current here find the current here you can find the resistance i'll give you a hint though that really doesn't matter as much here you can find the voltage and here you can find the resistance as well my biggest hint my biggest hint for this lab these resistors okay don't start with those start by making a current path that satisfies Kirchhoff's junction. Uh, I'm not even going to try to spell T I O N. Hey, that actually turned out okay, minus my weird looking J. Um, satisfy Kirchhoff's junction law first and his loop and junction law because that'll set up a nice little system for you with all these different currents, right? figure out all these different currents, and then, then, after you do that, go ahead and start to fit in your um, your resistors. So when you're done with it, it'll be a nice 4x4 four four puzzle. That sun will have a logical spot. All you got to do is take a picture of it and put it into your lab notebook. Normally, of course, I would check this during class and be able to verify that it satisfies the loop law, the junction law, what have you. Uh, but that's all you got to do for this lab. Super simple.
but it's a great practice on complex circuits. Um, and again, utilizing really Kirchhoff's laws to make sure that uh, it works out. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, but that is for this year. This is the last lab that we are doing in AP Physics 1. So how does that feel to know that you are done with labs in AP Physics 1? All you have to do is put together this beautiful puzzle, and I'm just marking it up so much for you right now. Uh, put together that puzzle, and you are all done with labs and the class almost minus the test for AP Physics 1. So good luck.